Hi guys, welcome back to Crafty Not Shifty. Before I get started on today's card, I just wanted to let you know that tomorrow my YouTube channel turns one and to celebrate I'll be holding a giveaway. So into today's card, I've used the Alter New stamp set. This is the Baby Zoo stamp set and I'm going to be using the elephant and the matching details. And this stamp set's really great for um, baby cards and um, for congratulations, baby showers and things like that. But if you pair it with another sentiment, it works for different occasions as well. So I'm using the Tim Holtz watercolour paper here and I'm just going to stamp down the outline image of the elephant. I'm going to be stamping that in some Simon Says Stamp ink in the Hot Mama colour. I really love this colour. Um, I really like when it came out Laura Basson did a release video and um, yeah, she can't, she can't say Hot Mama without singing it so um, this colour always makes me think of her. So because this is the first time that I've used this stamp I just inked that up really well and press that down using my stamp press. So when these inks stamp at first they will appear a little bit splotchy and I'll just show you that here but as it dries the colour evens out and smooths as it soaks into the cardstock. So now I'm going to take the detail um, section of the elephant and you just stamp this straight over the top so I'm just taking some time to line that up and then I'll pick that up with my stamp press again and I'm going to use the Simon Says Stamp Soft Navy colour just to add some detail onto that. So again I'm just pressing that down onto the stamp and then I'll flip over the stamp press and press that down. Using the stamp press does make it really easy to line up those images and make sure they land in the exact same place or if you have the MISTI um, stamping tool then that would be really useful um, for this technique as well. So here I'm just applying some liquid masking and I've sped this up a little bit um, so as not to bore you um, but yeah I'm just applying the liquid masking over the top of the elephant because I want to apply some watercolour and I want the elephant to stay the same colour that I've stamped it. So I've just taped this panel down using some masking tape to a whiteboard that I like to use whenever I'm um, using watercolour and using the Tim Holtz spray bottle I'm just applying some water in the direction um, as if it had just sprayed out of the elephant's trunk and I'm tapping on some brush -o powders um, in that area where the water is. So I'm using the orange, the yellow, the purple and also just a tiny little bit of the red as well. So I'm just working on this, um, applying the colour onto the wet areas of the cardstock and then spritzing a little bit more water on top as I go and as I was working with this I realised that I should have tilted my um, wooden panel that I use for water colouring to make that colour fall down towards the bottom so you'll see in just a moment I will tilt that up there we go so I've got that tilted up now and I'm just coming in with a dry tissue and just sopping up some of that colour where it's got a little bit too wet and I just kept working with this adding a little bit more powder a little bit more water as I was going through. If you haven't seen these brush -o, um, powders in action yet there are um, a whole host of videos on YouTube showing you how they work but essentially you sprinkle them on, add some water and spritz and those colours kind of burst and come to life. So once I'd set this piece off to the side and let it dry, you can see that the colours really softened and dried back. And I'm just pulling off the masking paper, um, sorry, the masking tape from around the edge. And that's trying to peel up some of that masking fluid that we had on top of the elephant. So I'm just going to bring in my um, adhesive pickup here. This is kind of like a rubber. If you don't have one of these, you could just use your finger as well to pick up the colour, um, to pick up, sorry, to pick up the masking fluid. So I'm just dropping some water droplets on top of the card now and I'm going to let those sit for a second and then come in with a tissue just to sop those up and the watercolour will reactivate with water so as you can see that takes away some of the colour and leaves some of those splotchy watermarks. So I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Big Scripty Greetings in the Happy Birthday to add a sentiment to this card and I'm just going to stamp that down using the Versafine Onyx Black ink. So these scripty um, greetings I believe came out as part of the Stamptember release for Simon Says Stamp. If you haven't got headed over to their website and their blog to take a look at all the releases um, for Stamptember, you better hurry up. Um, a lot of them have sold out already, but there's still an awful lot of their limited edition stamp sets available. So to finish off this card, I'm adding some white sequins in two sizes. I've spread those out on the card and I'm using my Ranger Multimedia mat just to hold those down in place. I'm going to mount my watercolour piece onto an orange piece of cardstock. I'm using my ATG gun to apply a really generous amount of tape onto the back of the watercolour cardstock and that's just to make sure it lays flat um, due to any warping that might have taken place when so much water was added. 
I'm centering that up and I'm using my grid paper to help me align that perfectly and just pressing that down onto the orange cardstock. The finished dimension of this card is four and a quarter by five and a half. The orange panel is um, I believe that is um, an eighth of an inch shorter on each side and then the watercolour panel is again another eighth of an inch shorter on each side. So I'm taking my Tombow wet glue and just placing the orange panel down on top of the card base. And that's the card finished. I hope you've enjoyed watching today and please do make sure you stay tuned because we've got another creative arts collaboration going live this week and we'll be able to share the theme with you on Thursday. Bye for now.